Pampering prairie dogs? Well, in a sense, yeah. This prairie dog getting its hair brushed is part of a study involving the Wyoming Game and Fish Department and 24 other states, federal agencies, tribes, and non-governmental organizations that are testing a potential sylvatic plague vaccine. Testing has been going at 29 sites in seven states over the past few years. Over 30 years ago, black-footed ferrets were thought to be extinct, but a colony was rediscovered on the Pitchfork Ranch near Matitsi. Today, that ranch is hosting field trials to test this oral vaccine developed by the U.S. Geological Survey for sylvatic plague, an exotic but especially deadly disease for prairie dogs. The endangered black-footed ferrets, primary prey. After giving the prairie dog a bit of anesthesia and giving him a few seconds to slip away into dreamland, Game and Fish non-game biologist okay. Jesse Bolaris, who is heading up the study in Wyoming, walks us through the process. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is comb the animal for fleas. And these fleas get sent to the lab to verify species and determine whether or not the fleas were carrying uh, the plague bacteria as well. And we're going to give him a pit tag. We're trying to uniquely mark each of these animals, so this pit tag is inserted under the skin and uh, we're able to later read the pit tag and every animal has a unique nine digit number. So when Lee reads the pit tag with the reader, it gives him that nine digit number. And we're gonna give each animal two ear tags because sometimes these, we wanna know we've already marked this animal and sometimes the ear tags will fall out while we do more than one. Next we're going to take hair and whisker samples from this guy. And we take this, this hair and whisker samples because the, the vaccine that we're testing has a biomarker in it that once these animals consume that vaccine, uh, the hair and whiskers will actually glow under UV light. So it's our way of knowing whether or not this particular animal ate the vaccine or not. A blood sample from a toenail can tell if the animal is infected with the bacterium that causes plague and lets biologists measure changes in immunity levels in animals that have consumed the vaccine. About 500 black-footed ferrets live in the wild now, but recovery efforts have been hampered largely due to plague outbreaks. Results from laboratory studies show the vaccine was effective at increasing survival of prairie dogs infected with plague. Biologists are hopeful that if found effective, the vaccine will provide additional assurances of healthy and stable prairie dog populations at locations where black-footed ferrets might be introduced and aid recovery efforts in Wyoming and throughout their former range. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department. He didn't mess around.